Hi everyone, welcome back. The topic we are going to study now is link state routing. So the link state routing is one of the algorithm implemented in intra-domain routing protocol. Dijkstra's algorithm is used here to build a routing table when all routers in a network system having knowledge about the total network topology. That is each node in the domain has details of entire links, type of nodes and cost. Objective of this technique is to find a shortest path or we can say the least cost path from a node that is from a router to other router when a packet is transmitted from source to destination. There are routers connecting several individual networks in intra-network system and nodes here representing routers that is nodes A, B and C are denoting routers and in between numerical values on the link are cost. There is the metric in between the nodes. For example, let us take a network system. Symbols shown here are the routers are connecting local area networks. And the weighted graph is shown here having nodes and links where nodes are representing routers and in between links are shown with cost. In order to prepare a routing table for each node with respect to least cost paths, initially each node in a network system is finding their path and cost to adjacent nodes. First considering a node A as the cost from node A to node A. That is the packet remains the same place so the cost is zero. The metric that is the cost from node A to node B is two. Node C is not having direct link from node A. There is an intermediate node B in between. And because initially nodes finding adjacent cost here the cost value from node A to C is taken infinity. And next cost from node A to D is three. Then other nodes in given network are not adjacent to node A. So cost from node A to other nodes say E, F, G are infinity. Similarly node B has to find the links and cost to its adjacent nodes. The cost in a link from node B to other nodes say A, B, C and E are given as shown values that are adjacent and nodes D, F, G are not adjacent to B so the cost is infinity. By the same way all nodes in network that is all routers in network collecting their adjacent links details and a link state database is prepared. Then information of all these links are to be known by every node so that the least cost tree for each node that is the cost from every node to other nodes can be determined. For example let us take node A as source. So here we say the node having the network database and finding least cost tree for a node A using Dijkstra's algorithm and from the least cost tree the router table for node A can be determined. While finding the least cost from node A to other nodes. Initially the source node A is taken as tentative and because it remains the same place the cost is zero. Then move it to permanent. Adjacent nodes of A that is B and D are taken as tentative. Now the least cost from these two links are actually the link to B. So moving the node B to permanent and proceeding to further nodes. Node A has the knowledge about network topology and because the node B is moved to the permanent and the next step is to trace the adjacent nodes to node B. That are nodes E and C are adjacent to node B. Because tree calculation here is from node A. So the total cost from the source node A to other nodes E and C that is through node B are calculated. So nodes C and E are now tentative and on the whole tentative list node D has least cost and D is moved to permanent. A packet from node A can also travel through node D to reach node E. But 
the cost in this case is 8 which is higher than the packet travels from node A to node E through the link B. So links A, B and E are considered. Now the node E with least cost 6 is moved to permanent and adjacent nodes to E are B, D and F. Because B and D are already confirmed, node F with cost 8 that is the cost from node A through B and E is considered in tentative. And for node F from A the cost is actually through B, C and F are higher than the link from A, B, E and F. So F with cost is considered here. Now comparing the present tentative list, C is least cost and moving it to permanent. And next adjacent nodes to F are node E, C and G. Here nodes E and C are already permanent. Therefore G with cost 9 is being considered as least cost path from node A through B, E and F. At last, we have least cost estimation from source node A to other nodes in network are A0, B2, C7, D3, E6, F8 and G9. And from following cost and links, the least cost tree is made for node A. Similarly, the tree can be drawn for all other nodes in network system. A routing table is prepared from estimated least cost tree from individual nodes to other nodes. We have considered node A here and from the least cost tree of node A, the routing table of node A that is having the information such as destination cost and next router are built. In this routing table of node A, nodes B and D are adjacent and the links to other nodes are actually through node B. That is a packet is using next node B to travel from node A to other nodes in network. So in link state routing, when each node is having the knowledge of total network topology, using Dijkstra's algorithm, a least cost tree can be made and the routing table can be prepared. Thank you.